Hello everyone, it's Tana. Welcome back to the channel and another video for the Rabbit Hole Designs. Today we're working with two stamp sets from the latest release and the Spring Floral uh, Number 2 Paper Pad. So we have Hip Hop Squad and then this stamp set here, Clover Bunny, and I just love that bunny. I think this one is my favorite stamp set from this release. And we're going to be using, I think, three of the papers from this paper pad. I thought both of these pads were really cute. I like, I think I like the other one better because I just love the green and purple plaid papers in that one. But this one's really pretty too. I love the rainbow of colors. And I love it that all the papers are the same because sometimes I have a really hard time choosing uh, pattern paper. So here are some images I colored off camera. And we're also going to be doing some paper piecing for one of the cards. And we're making a total of three cards today. I'll show you here how I paper piece, you know, did the stamping for a couple of the paper pieced bunnies. And then we'll move on. You don't need to see me stamp every single one. That would get boring. So I just took mostly my favorite pattern papers. Uh, I used this, the first floral paper pad for the paper piecing. The other one we're going to use on uh, the second card, or the first card. These are for the second card. So I made sure that I went around every single fussy cut paper pieced uh, image that I fussy cut out with a black marker. And that kind of sounded like a tongue twister. I also did the bunny's tails that were showing with a white jelly roll glaze pen. And I'm just going to show you here how I put the first one together and I make sure that when I paper piece I cut right on the line because you can always go around it with a marker afterwards and that way the pieces tend to fit better. So here's a look at all three bunnies and now we're going to do the background for the first card. I'm using some of my Nouveau embellishment mousse and a blending brush. And I'm going to do this whole entire panel. I had to go over it a few times I think because I was using it sparingly it was turning out blotchy, so I used it a little thicker the third time and it went on much better. I'm showing you here that I did try to spray it with some sparkly sprays, but you'll see in a minute that that turned out sticky. It never really did dry correctly, so we're going to fix that. For the second panel, I'm going to do a simple ink blended background with some tumbled glass for the sky and some twisted citron distress oxide for the grass. We are going to add a couple of uh, die cut grass pieces to the bottom here when we work on that card. So here is when I test it and I noticed that it's still wet and at this point it had been an hour. So I decided that I was going to ruin one of my embossing ink pads because of course that stuff was still wet inked the entire panel up and covered it with a clear sparkle embossing powder. I have here a pink piece of card stock from Concord and Knight. I will put the color on the screen for you guys as a mat for this panel and we're going to pop that panel up with some foam tape. I'm going to use the new Kitsch, is it Kitsch or Kitschy? Kitsch Flamingo Embossing Glaze to stamp out my sentiment for this card, which is Happy Easter. And this stuff is very pretty. I love this stuff. I can't wait to get my uh, oxide ink pads and regular distress pads for this color. And here are my three scallop circles cut out. The center one is slightly larger than the other two, being as it is the focal point of my card, or at least I wanted it to be. So I'm gluing all three of those on there, and then I will glue my bunnies on as well. And we're using the colored ones for the for this card. I'm getting distracted by the cat. She keeps attacking my couch. I bought her a scratching post, and she does not use it. And I can't yell at her right now because I'm doing a voiceover. This is my life, guys. Moving on. After I get the third one attached, we're going to put that sentiment right down in the center at the bottom. I actually played with it quite a bit, but the center at the bottom was really the only place that it looked like it belonged. Here are my grass pieces for the second card. And I'm showing you here that I have some butterflies that I cut out with that paper punch there. I colored them all with a gel pen. 
and added some black dots onto them with a glaze pen. And I thought that those would be a nice touch for the bunnies. Make it look more spring-like. I also took my cloud die, which has a, a frame and then a cloud inside the frame. And I used pattern paper for that as well in the center. And then used the regular white outline when I put the clouds together. So because I popped the front layer of grass up, you can see that part of each bunny has to be popped up with foam tape. So it lays evenly on the card front. I have this Happy Easter uh, word die here from Lawn Fawn. And I have cut it out of a piece of pattern paper, but, although you can't tell really. But it was the pattern paper with the colored lines on it. And with two pieces of white cardstock behind it. So it sticks up and adds dimension to the card. And that will just go up in the top right of the card. I did put an inside on this one, and I believe it says you're extra spe special to me. Yes, that's what it says. There's quite a bit, uh, quite a few cute sentiments in that stamp set, the hip hop, hip hop squad. Now I can't speak. I had paused this voiceover so I could go remove the cat from the couch. So now I can't speak. That's usually how it goes. I'm adhering all the butterflies to the card. And then this card will be done. I think it turned out super cute, guys. Moving on, I now have this clover bunny. And you saw all those bunnies that I colored. Well, I colored two bunnies and a whole bunch of shamrocks. And then I decided to do something totally different. So I pulled out my watercolors, and I'm just going to show you here how I laid down some color. I didn't do anything fancy. I tried to add a little bit of shading to the shamrock. Uh, the bunny I tried, but because of the darker color I chose, it didn't really work out the way I thought it would. I mean, it still turned out cute. It doesn't look shaded. I'm still trying to work on my watercolor skills. I'm much better at it when I'm using like Catherine Puller inks and a water brush or even Zig. Uh, clean color real brush markers in a water brush than I am with regular watercolors. So I'm using a cut out a lawn. I use a, oh God, I think it's like a three and a half by four inch die. I cut a rectangle, stitch rectangle piece of card sack, laid down some green watercolor for the grass and some blue watercolor for the sky. And when I laid down the sky, I added some water to the panel first. And then I added the watercolor to it so that the uh, paint would move more freely. Now I'm adding the pink to the bunny's ears. And that guy is pretty much done. I did show uh, the rainbow there. I just slapped some color on there real quick when I was painting, between painting the clover bunny and some of those rainbow clovers you see off in the corner there. So I'm going to glue my rainbow down first, make sure it lays flat. I don't want anything to buckle because we're going to have a couple things popped up on foam tape. So first I'm going to lay down my clovers. The first set I lay flat to the panel uh, with some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. And that's what it looks like. And then I'm going to pop the clover bunny up on foam tape right in the center of that butterfly sitting in the pile of clovers. Then I'll take some of the clovers that are left over and add some foam tape to those just to add some dimension to his pile of clovers. And when I did this rainbow one, I was really pulling out my Laura fedora here. I just saw this bunny after coloring all that green sitting in a field of rainbow clovers. So I went with it. I'm using some of the pattern paper from the first paper pad, that beautiful purple plaid, and then those, I think it's the leaves on the white pattern paper, green leaves on white. And I think those go really well together. And then we'll place our whole rainbow panel onto the center of that. And I believe this card is a top folding card, which I don't do that often. So I did not put a sentiment on the front of the card. I chose to instead put in the center, inside, 
A good friend is like a four-leaf clover, hard to find and lucky to have. I think that is a super cute sentiment. And I used some Simon Says Stamp Hybrid, I believe it's Lucky Clover ink to stamp that out. And that's it for this video, guys. I hope you like what you saw here today. Don't forget to sign up for the Rabbit Hole Designs email for uh, new release information and tons of inf inf uh, inspiration. Can't speak again. We'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye for now.